Hello everyone, my name is Dikash Sharma. Today I will show you one tutorial video of Android application that displays the information of a an user depending on the input. So I have created uh, two activity. So every, every activity is having one layout file and as well as one Java file. So let's have a look at the first activity so this is the layout file and this is the complete layout that is the relative layout uh, and four text view and four edit text uh, which i drag and drop from here name office name id and ct this is for the labeling and these are the four edit text which i have taken for the taking input from the user where the user can give the information uh, and these are the two buttons uh, and this is the text view when the user will click on the show details button user can see the informations whatever the informations is uh, given by the user it will be displayed here and when the user will click on next button user can see the information on this activity so this is the complete front end which is the UI designing of the application. If the front end is active, then the user can easily like the application. Let's have a look the back end part. So first Java file, that is the main activity. I have created four objects of the edit text, two objects for the button, one object for the text view. Now I have to fetch the resource ID of the edit text, text view as well as button. Because I don't want to fetch this <coughs> text view resource ID because these are for the labeling part but I have to fetch the resource ID for the four edit text two buttons and one text view where the user can see that information after clicking on the button so for the first edit text resource ID that is the edit text 2 which I will get from here in the text part edit text 2 edit text 3 it is 4 and it is 5 these are the resource id for the edit text and for the button first button's resource id is the button and second button's resource id is the button 2 and for the text view resource id the text view 5 and i have to fetch all the resource id of the widgets to here so e1 e2 e3 e4 these are the objects of the edit text where it can contain the resource id which i will get from the layout file and for the button b1 and b2 where it can contain the resource id of the buttons and for the text view t1 will contain now i have to uh, do the operation on the button that's why i have to call this method that is the set on click listener that is the method of the view class so i have to call this method through the buttons object that is a b1 then after that i have to access the view class constructor that is the new view then I have to access through this to interface that is on click listener. An interface can contain the abstract method and abstract method don't have the method body but I can easily override the abstract method here that is the name of the abstract method is uh, on click. Then I have to take the input from the user so the syntax would be e1.getText.twisting for the first edit text where the user can give the input for the name and Serially, I have to take the input from the user for the office name, ID, and CD. That's why my syntax would be e2 dot get text or twisting, e3 dot get text or twisting, and e4 dot get text or twisting. Where this all the syntax will be stored in the B, C, and the D. And T1 is the object of the text view dot set text. That means uh, the informations can be displayed on the text view. That's why I have to call this method set text name, office name, ID, and CD will be displayed. That is depending on the input. Whatever the user will give the input and it will display in the name, office name, ID and city. I will show you when I run the application afterwards. Uh, now I have to do the operation for the second button where the user can see the informations in the second activity. That is the B2. B2 dot set on click listener. That is the uh, new view. Again, I have to call the view class constructor and after that I have to access the interface. That is the on click listener. Then I, after that I have to override the method. There's on click, and here I have uh, done the code for the intent. Intent in Android is a component where the user can 
access to the second activity from the first activity or user can easily send the data from one activity to another activity so you can launch any activity you can start any start any service through the intent so i have created the object of the intent class uh, main activity dot this where the user can send the data from this activity they have to define over there and where the information or data will go i have to define it that is the, in the main to activity so to send any data or to send any information whatever the information is given by the user i have to call this method put extra for sending any data from one to another activity first i have to set the data i have to put the data so these are the four keys name office name id and city and these are the syntax for taking the input from the user and after that i have to call this method start activity i have to pass the object of the intent class and then the second activity it will receive the data from the first activity i have created the object the text view class the here this is the syntax for fetching the resource id from the layout file which will be stored in the t1 uh, int i have to call, uh, object, create the object of the intent class where you can easily get the intent from the first activity and after it bundle bundle is the class which carries the information or data from the first activity to this activity so i have to uh, link the bundle with the intent so we can say extra data allowing the intent uh, see the intent 2 dot get extras in the first activity i have uh, give the keep extras uh, put extras i have the second activity is keep the get extras where easily i can get the data now i have to read the keys because without reading the keys i, I will be unable to read the value from the user so a b c d these are the four variables string of the string type there is a bundle is the object of the bundle class dot get string that means i have to read the data depending on the keys these are the four keys which i have defined over here the same keys i have to read here then only i can easily read the value or the face the value from the user now t1 dot get text where the information will be display in the text view in the i have taken in the second activity now then after it same code uh, uh, name office name id and city a uh, name equals to a means in the information will be stored in the a variable and office name is id and city for the same so now uh, run the application Uh, for name, the first information, second information uh, is uh, is the input. Third, give the ID. And fourth, for city. Now, user will click on the show details button. User can see the information here, and the user will click on the next button. User can see the information on the second activity. Uh, this is the complete application. Uh, I hope all of you have enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.